Joe Mullings, Untitled and Unfiltered. So I was doing some reading over the weekend, and I ran across a quote uh, by Nietzsche. And uh, I enjoy reading some of Nietzsche. It's an a interesting perspective that he had on the world. And the, and, the, and, the, and the quote said, And those who were seen dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music. Those who were seen dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music. And gosh, I don't know if there's a more appropriate sort of um, quote or mindset for where we are today and where we are moving forward. You know, if, if, if you have not been accused of being odd or out there or uh, different uh, in your life, then you probably aren't squeezing the juice out of it um, that you should be because each of us uh, should absolutely have such an odd, bizarre side to us that if we would give ourselves permission to live out loud, we would be accused of this quote as uh, insane. And, and, and those who have gone on to change the world, and I'm not suggesting changing the world uh, on a global scale is what I'm referring to. I'm talking about changing the world that you live in. Uh, it could be an organization like ours where I feel like I have the responsibility of 100 plus souls every single day. Um, and I try to um, be as insane as possible. And what that insane uh, as possible means is not reckless. Certainly though, living out loud the dreams of the teammates that we work together with and all of us sharing this insane vision of what we wanna get done. And so that's what I mean by changing the world. Certainly there are people who, you know, I, you know I'm a fan of Musk's, uh, you know, insane uh, in the membrane uh, in the opinion of a lot of people still, regardless of the evidence that points out. And you can go through, you know, many, many people who have uh, uh, influenced the world and like the world for real uh, have always deemed to be insane. Rarely do uh, sane individuals change anything uh, at all. The idea of changing the world uh, at a local level, and that's, that's where I want to keep this right now, um, based on your own insanity, I, I think we would all do ourselves from a mental health perspective, certainly physical health, uh, because mental uh, uh, influences how you feel and how you feel influences what you think about. And it's like a cycle, right? What you feel makes you what you think. What you think makes you what you feel. If we would be courageous enough to live our lives out loud, like right in the forefront and care less about what everybody else thinks about you, I think everybody would be stronger, healthier, uh, and happier uh, and more fulfilled uh, because you know I really don't like that word happiness, but it translates and at least good for conversation here, happy, fulfilled, two different things. But living your life in an insane fashion will make you healthier. Does that make sense? The more insanity that you can demonstrate will make you healthier. What do I mean by that? The people who are driving change local to them usually do insane things. That insanity label is given from the outside world to you. You don't think it's insane. You think it's normal because the universe whispered in your ear that this is what you should be doing. And those from the outside who have nothing better to do will generally point to you as you're dancing and having the time of your life, living your life, will say that you're crazy, you're insane, you're different. That's their problem. It becomes your problem though if you pull your punches and you don't live your so-called insane life. The, there's a direct proportion to you not living your insane life and then taking that down range 30 years from now, 20 years from now, depending on your age, and then having to live that life of regret is going to cost you relationships, health, 
um, your mental health. So feel free to live that insanity right now. Also, compare yourself only to yourself. As you go through this, you're going to have the doubters. As you go through this, the finger pointers. And you could get caught up in trying to compare what you're doing to somebody else. One of the lessons that was taught to me a number of years ago was make sure that I only compare myself to the version I was yesterday and then the version I was the day before that. That allows you to have a healthy reference point and be less influenced by outside stimulus. Because if you're going to try and compare yourself in a Kodak moment to another person's Kodak moment, that will make you crazy. Because you don't know the shit that's going on behind the scenes with that other person's you know, Kardashian Kodak moment that looks like it's perfection. I don't know them, obviously, and I don't know if they have a wonderful life. I'm just saying, my guess is that Instagram life that they're living is not exactly as clean as a whistle that's behind the scenes. It'd be very bizarre if it was. And so don't look at an Instagram uh, uh, account or a Facebook posting or LinkedIn posting and believe that that's the full 360 of that person's life or being. Push it away. Compare yourself only to what you've done this week, last week, next month. So that's going to be really important. <sighs> Patience to go along with this insanity is you're going to take a lot of fire. You're going to take um, mostly, it's going to look like this, but what's important is look at that. This is a trajectory. If I just drew a straight line, right? But it's going to go like this. But if I take that mean line, trust it, if you're, if you're listening to the whisper in your, your ear that the universe gave you, over time, the trajectory of where you're going will be appropriate. Every single day will not be an uptick. But it's up to you to find, as you inventory, don't hold yourself on a one-day, two-day, seven-day, 30-day evaluation process because that could cause you to be manic. So make sure you average out, okay, this week, what were the accomplishments? This month, what were the accomplishments? This year, what were the accomplishments? And judge them against yourself only. Judge them in relative terms of realistic accomplishments. And then have that patience without compromising moving forward have that patience to let the game play out. Don't get judged in the first inning when it's a nine-inning game. Don't get caught up in judgment in the fifth inning. There have been many, many games won in the bottom of the ninth. And if you allow a first-inning judgment or a third-inning judgment, I'm talking about judgment on yourself now. As I said, shut out the rest of the world. A judgment on yourself. Give yourself time that it is a nine-inning game. And those who were seen dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music. Write that down. Put it in your wallet, your pocketbook, your back pocket. Hang it at your desk. Put it on your dashboard. And every single time you think about pulling a punch because you're worried about what others are going to say about you, Be insane in the way you dance. That's life. I'm Joe Mullings, untitled and unfiltered. Be well.